Billy Crystal is our person of the week. Uh, my name is Billy Crystal and I'm a comedian. A comedian who began entertaining in his living room. The boy growing up on Long Island, his dad owned a record store, the center of jazz in New York City. And all these years later, still smiling, hey, Billy. still making us laugh. Hi, Taylor. Great to see you. Good to see you. And we began oh, oh, where it all Thank began you. for him. Your home was literally filled with voices. Oh, yeah. And that's where I first started, I think. That's when you began to impersonate. I think I was five and I sounded like this. And uh, boy, my, why are my ankles swollen? I'm five. And then uh, I'd be around the great musicians, and that was a whole different other head. Can you dig that, David? I can dig it. I know that you're good. I can't say it like you. <laughs> His solo act on Broadway, 700 Sundays, such a hit. Soon out on DVD, all about Sundays with his dad. So Sunday was our only day together. Go bowling or we'd play baseball. He'd take us out to the high school field and pitch curveballs to me. And there was always Sunday dinner. The food was always the Chinese food or Italian food, because we're, we're, ultimately we're Jews. So. But in that tiny house, it wasn't the smell of food. It was something else. I always remember the smell of his shaving. It was something very intoxicating about that. And it was the one day of the week when you knew you had dad. Yeah. And when he lost his dad suddenly, it was his mother who held the family together. You have said she was the greatest hero you ever yeah. knew. She sat me down one day as I was fearing I was not going to be able to go to college. Really, we left with nothing. And she said, I promise you, you're going to go. Do you remember the relief as a boy when she said that to you? I remember th that I had a leader. Hmm. Your mother would wake you up every year on your birthday? Yes. At the same at time? At the time that I was born. Hi, Mom. It's September 8th, 1952. It's a moment <laughs> he put into the movie City Slickers, always remembering his mother and father, and tonight, remembering someone else. You have said that moment on the Emmys, that tribute, was yeah. the hardest thing you ever had to do. Yes. He's my closest friend. And when it happened, everyone was looking to me, and I, I didn't have anything to say, so I just tweeted no words, because I didn't have any. I couldn't breathe. He made us laugh hard every time you saw him. It was really hard. It was really hard. Um, it just makes no sense. What do you miss the most? Him. Um, the friendship. Years of comic relief together. We never knew they would deliver the checks in person. We'd get a call. House of Ruth in Washington. Robin, let's go. Boom. And Billy is still giving. After Hurricane Sandy, helping his community. Now planting trees. Get the city up on its feet so it can stay on its feet. Remembering his roots and his fans. Like his book says, Still fooling him. So after all these years, um, I feel like I'm still getting away with something. And so we choose Billy Crystal, always giving back, always remembering family, and still remembering his friend.